makers have got so many tools to engage in them. You're about to see those team comps. Let's see how much Fnatic have learned since their loss last week. You guys know the deal. Hashtag. Mima and Horo setting themselves up for a potential dive, but Yellow Stars had decent vision. Hooney's decided to stick around. This is going to not work out for him. There's four members of Beach Makers. Hooney's been caught. The shield comes out. Damage onto Nisbet. One more turret shot. He's going to go down. Hooney makes it work. He is still alive. They've managed to trade two for one. Mr. Roll's forced a flash. So, Mima, 9 CS to the 28 of Huni. Look at Horo on the bottom lane. This is round two. The tower is up and alive. Knockup doesn't connect. Nisbet tanks one more hit before backing away. Huni manages to survive, well, no as does Nisbet. Nisbet's still alive. The spell shield is there. Huni goes in. Flamespitter gets him one. That is a holy pot if ever I've seen one. Horo manages to connect. There's minions there to keep him alive. And now Fnatic. Are they considering the dragon? No. Here comes a thrill of the hunt. Oro is in trouble. Level six, he's rooted. Right of the arcane comes down. One, two, three. Not even needed. The damage from Rainover and the combo from Febovic. Yeah. Oh, they may set their sights on Corey. Equalizer's available. Let's see what he does. Slow comes out. Dragon secured. Teleport, Teleport instantly from Mima. We see the accelerated shock blast coming out, and Corey's in trouble. Mima flashes forward. Frozen Tomb locks him down. Stun from Fibbervin does not connect. Huni still in full retreat as the equalizer forces MYM to back away. Huni goes 4 0. Oh. <laughs> he just doesn't want to die. He <laughs> does not want to go. Kill it as soon as it spawns and then recall. But then again, you wouldn't actually lose your tower yet. Yeah. Oh, Mima gets silenced. To use all of that damage to their favor. Tower secured. On the hunt comes down from Mr. Ross. Decent damage on Fnatic. They are going to get one. Huni is now out. Very good engage with the frozen tomb from Mima. And Corey's got a double. It's replied with steel back. Boomerang goes out a two for one. Also have to worry about the Nexus here. Super Minions already pushing onto it. Trying to take down a tower while Fnatic might be caught out. So Rainover's only the first one. Focus down from Meacher Makers. The Nexus is being hammered on in the back line. Horo will get dropped as Fnatic continue to put the damage down. Teleports from both top laners. Everven charges up that Arcano Pulse. The minions have been pushed back for the time being. Fnatic trade junglers, but get an inner turret. You know, on the inhibitor, they managed to come out ahead two for one. They did trade one for one. Horo's been caught out. Yellow Star's gonna knock him up. The flag, the drag. Nisbet jumps in. Rainover lands the baller. Horo is down. Double kill for Rainover as he just flies through the air. Mima waiting to happen. Thrill of the hunt is out. There goes Rengar. He's jumped on Mima. Mima forced a frozen tomb. Equalizer comes out and Mima is down. We do see the baller strike go out, but Corey. Now pushing onto this turret here. Mid inhibitor, it's already gone. Fnatic taking it very low. Equalizer's available. TP Mima's behind coming now. in from behind. Zenithblade does not connect. Solar Flare catches Rainover. Mima's looking for a target. Forced to self-cast to stay alive. Fast Bomb from Steelback is going to take Mima down as the reply is on to Yellowstar. Now Nisbet forced on the retreat. Steelback is carrying for the team from the back line. Fnatic have got three despite losing two. And with the empowered minions, they're going to get a second inhibitor. They have super minions on the Nexus as well here. Rallis is trying to abort. We can still back out here before anything happens. And that's really what's set them behind. Rainover, <laughs> Rainover jumps the tower. onto the Everybody tower. Died. Gets the damage out. Equalizer is out on the back line. Everybody going low. Uh, we see the hourglass pop from Huni. Rainover is dropped. Meet your makers holding on. Super minions pushing in. That little engage not working out in favor of Fnatic. However, Febovin's going to even it up. One for one. And a small glimmer of hope from Meteor Makers, but it's just too little. We do see Mr. Rolls putting damage down. They've caught Febovin. He's forced to Hourglass. Steelback untouched with so much damage. There's Super Minions on the Nexus Toad. Steelback is going to Valkyrie away. Now the Interpretator is being focused down. Corey gets hit. Fast Bomb chunks him out. Huni teleports. The Triple fight's kill. been so long that he's come back. From the pit. And we do see Inhibitor taking out Super Minions on the Nexus turret. That's going to be the win for Fnatic. Once again, a very, very dominant performance here from Fnatic. Taking another win. SK Gaming is not secured number one yet. 7 0 4 from Steelback. Hooney 5 3 and 8.
and Fnatic never looked challenged. Massive smiles on the faces of everybody. All the fair bit. Pretty, pretty focused look there as he steps up. And it's, it's, it's difficult to fold the performance. Again, oh, yeah. they punish the dive and then again push the objectives and move around the map very effectively. Punish the dive, go back to top lane as well, make sure that Mimer lost at least some of the wave up there. We saw Rainover come up and then after the lane swap, again being in favor of, of Fnatic, they just managed to get all these picks going. You see the roaming again from Yellowstar joining in for the early fights. MOM tried to make some plays which is better than what we have seen beforehand, where they would sit back and be very afraid to do anything. Here they're actually trying. A fanatic had just read them like a book, were able to respond every single time, get a massive...